So I always wanted to get into the habit of stretching. I don't know why. It always seemed like something healthy people do. And I saw the people who did it and they were flexible, more flexible than me, significantly more flexible. And they were stronger and they also appeared mentally more healthy, right? They had this, this posture that was fixed. They had... I don't know, they, they just had more open body language and they seemed more confident and I wanted to get into the main habit. I thought they changed and they changed that habit and I for a long time struggled to implement that habit. But like recently, I found a way to implement it into my day. And today I'm going to teach you exactly the way I did this. So this video is going to based a is going to be based around routine. Because routine is by definition, something that helps you do a habit with less friction and stretching for me is always a high friction thing, right? You have to focus while you do it is painful. And you, you, you experience a lot of pain without seeing much gain right away. But it was still something that I wanted to get into. And when something has a lot of friction, then from that moment on when I learned, okay, this is how you implement this. I now know that to implement a habit that has a lot of friction, you need a routine. And I analyze, well, how does a routine look? And I came up with three parts of a routine that are all crucial to building a routine that will then help you do a high friction habit with less friction. Let's go for the first part, which is the start habit. The start habit is brushing your teeth right before you get into your evening routine. The start habit is a low friction, singular habit that basically gets you into the habit. The start habit for parachute jumping is jumping out of the airplane. That's the start habit. The core habit is flying down, pulling your wingsuit and then basically manipulating the wing shoot in a way that will then help you land on the ground and the finish habit, which is the last habit uh, or, or the last part of the routine is landing. So start habit and finish habit are singular habits. They are low friction habits that you look forward to. And the core habit is the bundle of habits that you're trying to do for the evening routine. For me, my evening routine is I brush my teeth. This is a start habit, right? It has no friction for me in it. However, you can find something else that has no friction, like reading or watching a certain type of video or meditation or whatever, or doing 20 push-ups. I don't know what works best for you, but some habit that has low friction for you will work. What you then do after you found this habit is you then see, okay, what do I want to do in this routine? And then you put a whole bunch of habits in there, like stretching, foam rolling, meditation, reading, journaling, praying, reading in the Bible, whatever. And then you build a finish habit, a habit that has low friction, again, that you look forward to, which is very important. And then you are done with the routine. You see? The, the, the routine friction curve, how I like to call it, is this way. You start laying on the couch. Then you have the start habit, which is brushing your teeth. Then the friction goes up a little bit. And then the core habit starts. And then you reach the peak of the core habit. And then friction goes down again because now you're by the end of the routine. And then right here you have the finish habit, which for me is praying. And then you get into bed. Easy, right? So you have to look for two low friction habits that you can do at the start and by the end of your routine. This is how you implement stretching. You simply put stretching into your core habit as the high friction activity as like right in the middle. So you have a nice gradual build up into the stretching. You could say, okay, I'm going to do very low friction, which is brushing my teeth. Then I'm going to do mid friction, which is going to be journaling. And then I'm going to do high friction, which is going to be stretching. And then 
I'm going to do praying, which is low friction, which also then signalifies or signalizes the finish habit, the I'm done habit. And you can do this with any habit. Any habit has a start habit, a core habit, and a finish habit. Let's look at brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth isn't a habit, it's three habits. The first habit you do when brushing your teeth, so let's zoom in into brushing our teeth. You put the toothbrush tablet in your mouth or you put the toothpaste on your toothbrush, whatever you do, and you brush then, this is the core habit now, the start habit is putting the toothbrush tablet into your mouth and then you brush and then this is the core habit and then you spit it out, which is then the finish habit and then this habit is done. You have to imagine habits as little boxes. You open them up with the start habit, you put the core habit in there and you close them off with the finish habit. And then you put this box that is now done. It's now a finished box. You put this into the big box, which is your routine. And you open this routine up using that start habit, using a start habit. You open it up with brushing your teeth. Then you put the box of, I don't know, journaling in there. Then you put the box of stretching in there. Then you put the box of prayer in there. And then you close it off with a meditation or with whatever you want to do. And then you do that box, you close it off, and then you put it into the big box of your day. And then that big box, you close off with the last habit you do in the day, which is practically falling asleep. And then you put it into your wardrobe, which is full of these boxes we call days. And this is how you structure your whole day. Now you understand how to build a habit. You have a start habit, you have a core habit, and you have a finish habit. And now you know exactly how to build a habit without ever having to read a book. I didn't read a book for this. This is experience, not a book. Now to my routine. My routine is, as you might have already learned, I brush my teeth as a start habit. Then as a core habit, at first I do stretching because I like high friction by the start and low friction in the end. So my friction curve is actually more like this, and then it gradually goes down because I like it more like that. You have to know how you like it, but finding a start habit for your routine and actually putting it into a routine, the, the high friction habit is important. And then after I'm done stretching, I do journaling, and then I read in the Bible, which is still a core habit, right? These three habits are core habits. A core habit is a multiple habits. It's made up of multiple habits. And then I pray as the finish habit. And then my evening routine is done. Then I fall asleep. Or I then, then I tell a story to myself in my bed and then I fall asleep. This is my evening routine. This is how I implemented stretching by realizing how habits work. I hope I got you one step closer to knowing how a habit works. If not, give this video a dislike and insult my mom in the comments. If yes, you can subscribe to my channel. It's always welcome. I'm currently aiming for hitting one subscriber a day. And actually today when I filmed this video, I hit two subscribers today. So very good day for me today. If you want to make my day, just go down and click that red button and fuck that button up. <laughs> and um, if you want to know how to use multiple habits as a start habit or a finish habit, because we can't always implement it in this way. Think about the gym. We can't always do the same habit in the beginning of the gym and in the end. Sometimes we simply walk out of the gym after a shower and then get on the bus or on the train or on the car or whatever. And the habit and the finish habit constantly changes. So if you want to know how to implement different start and finish habits into your routine, you can write a comment and request the video topic and then I will make that video 100% of the time. Now have a nice day and master your mind.